Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're doing a different kind of uh, drawing in my art journal. Uh, Dave and Emily and I were watching a uh, art show. What was it called, Em? Uh, a British art show. And anyway, they did something where they kind of um, took away from the project rather than drawing the project, if that makes sense. And since I have a terrible uh, time drawing sometimes because I just my brain just won't function when I saw this I was like oh I have to try this because as you'll see you know taking away is much easier for me than putting it there if that makes sense so I thought maybe this would help some of you guys um I had a blast doing this and I love how it came out I look at it now and I know like I have to change things um the next time but let me tell you what I'm using all I'm doing is I'm using my journal and I'm using the Derwent Charcoal Medium. And um, you can use any charcoal that you want, or any lead for that matter. If you have pencils that are, you know, like a B or whatever that are thicker, use that. And then I am just drawing in a picture of kind of what I wanted. Um, I wanted, I was going for like a teddy bear because I love doing the teddy bears. And then I was like, well, you know, after I started drawing and I was like, well, let me try this. Let me, and I put ears on it. I don't know why, but I did. And I'm just sketching out with my charcoal. Not a big deal. And it could be anything, really. I'm going to try a few more. You guys, when you're done watching this, let me know down below if you'd like to see more. Or if you would, you want to see it like with me doing it at the time. Do you know what I mean? Like live rather than this. But I didn't know if anybody would like it. So I figured, you know, I'll try it. Now I'm using my gummy uh, eraser and I liked it in the beginning because it really did take off a lot of the uh, charcoal and I'm just taking it around just shadow wise a little bit and the those erasers are nice because you just kind of pull them apart to clean them in a sense and I do dig them uh, back. I'm just kind of drawing it uh, back a little bit more because I took a little bit off the outside. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep the lining so dark the outline or not. So this is what I did. And I just keep going in and drawing and uh, making the eyes a little darker. And I do the eyes a couple times till I figure out exactly what I wanted. Even now, like I said, I see what I other things I wanted to do in my mind and I just totally forgot. I am not a very, uh, <laughs> I forget everything. And even if I write it down, I forget it. Mostly because I have eight notebooks and I write in all eight and I couldn't tell you all eight of them are. So now I'm going to blend more with my um, Fantastics. It's from Suneco. Um, it's a coloring tool. Bullet point is what it is, but you could definitely use Q-tips. That'll work just as good. And I'm writing down the songs I am listening to while I'm arting because I was asked um, what songs do I listen to. So for those of you who are interested, I'm going to... Uh, tell you in a second. Um, there goes my dog, and this is the second time I'm recording the voiceover, which is enjoyable. If I have to do it again, it's going to music. I'm sorry, that's my wacko dog. She's wacko. I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, the songs that I listened to were Whole Sunday Dress, I Blue October. I didn't write the name of the song. I don't know why. Natalia kills kill my boyfriend. Amanda Amanda Palmer in my mind. Whole. For Once in Your Life, Lana Del Rey, uh, The Blackest Day, Luther Vandross, uh, If the World Were Mine, and The Doors, Ellie Woman, because you got to get some gym in there. But honestly, it's just on random, like it's just on shuffle. So sometimes it plays like Courtney Love and Hole. I guess it goes by who you listen to more. I don't know. But I have disco. I have everything on there. So now you can see I'm going back and I drew a line for the mouth. And I am erasing with my um, gummy eraser. I was just molding it there. And obviously, I mean, use whatever eraser that you have. Go to the dollar store and get an eraser. It don't matter. I was using it because I thought, oh, I bet you it's going to work real good because I can clean it because of the charcoal. I'm going to research and see if there is a charcoal eraser out that I could use more than a regular eraser. But I don't know. It worked fine. Now I'm just redrawing it in. I'm looking at it now and it looks like crap. Maybe once all the rest of the stuff's in. I love the way it ended, but I see there, I'm like, what, what are you doing, girl? 
So now I'm going back in with my blending thing. Use your Q-tip. I'm using the Fantastics thing, and I got to keep cleaning it off. Where a Q-tip, I can kind of use both sides and pitch it. But I don't know if you can clean a Q-tip. I guess you can wipe it off because you know, like when you're doing like lead and stuff, sometimes it gets like shiny, and that's what this uh, rubber eraser was doing. So Emily, yell at her. She won't stop. This dog is wacko. I got to record her one time. I don't know. All of a sudden she's sleeping and then she'll jump up on the pillow that she's laying on and then start digging and her hair goes wild and she just has a blast with herself. I don't know. Bless her heart. Okay. So now I'm using a regular uh, mechanical pencil uh, eraser um, just to kind of get those eyes because I'm just not feeling them at the moment. Now I'm, you'll see it'll start coming together a little bit. And I really like the, like I, as I'm looking at it here, I really dig that dark. Like I really, really dig the eyes dark. Like I wish I wouldn't have, well, I mean, I can always do another one, but now I'm using this eraser. It's called the Vanish Eraser. And um, my dear, dear friend who has passed on, uh, Linda Chilcott, spoiled me to death. And when she was here uh, and she would always send me, she lived in Texas and she always sent me, uh, erasers and pencils and anything new that came out that she saw at Chaw because she would go to the Craft and Hobby Association, she would send me stamps and oh, she was so good to me. Um, I just love her and I love this eraser and I just don't want to use it all the time. Uh, bless her soul, but she was so, so, so good to me. So now I'm just kind of doing that, doing that. I don't know what I'm doing there. What if we could, that's it. What if we could blue October? That's it. Came to me late. Blue October. What if we could? I'm a big, 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 humongous, humongous blue October fan. All right. So now I'm just blow, you know, blowing those eyes out a bit with the, uh, fantastics. I, what the heck am I doing? I, I don't know. Dave texted me. Emily texted. I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing there. Now I'm blending, blend, blend, blend. All right, girl. Oh, dang, she's blending. Now, here's where we're going to, this is the white china marker, right? Uh, this is the one that is not water soluble, but it can write on anything. So I dig it. Now watch how frustrated I get. And I end up um, sharpening it like back in the old days, like my dad would when he was out working. Uh, building stuff and he would just take the razor and knife and you know sharpen it just like I'm going to start doing that in about a second because I could not get this thing open. There I go. There I go. There I go. I only took a little chunk of the white off. I just don't have the energy right now to fight with it. I do have to do a video on how to do it but just today I didn't feel like it. So I'm putting that in. It's waxy. It's not going to be reconstituted with water. It's not going to be uh, like do anything, but just a little lightness and I dig it in the eyes. Um, and I put a little bit in the ears and the arms. Just, I don't know, just a little bit. And like I said, you can't blend it. You really can't blend it much, but I like it. I'm not hating on it. And now I am going to seal it with Mod Podge matte because so many of you Constantly say, please don't use Mod Podge paper all the time. Use Mod Podge matte because that's what I have and I can't go out and buy paper, you know, the Mod Podge paper. And I'm like, I'm here for you. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just putting a coat. Look how beautiful it goes on of the Mod Podge matte. No problem whatsoever. I'm going to dry it, even dry it with my heat gun, um, as you're going to see, because I want to draw something else on there. And it dries so fast. And if you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, Go to the thrift store and buy one for a couple bucks or just sit for five minutes, sing your favorite song, and it shall dry quickly. Um, not sticky. I, the, I'm the i showing you, like, it's not coming up. You can't. It, it's sealed. It's sealed. Now we can work on top of it, and I'm showing you that with a little red heart. So let me know what you guys think, and if you'd like to see this in real time. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you in my next video.